Thanks well, for thank being you. here. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for being here. Thanks for you guys watching the show so I can be here. Yeah. Yeah. And you've got quite the IMDb page. Do I? Yeah. It's, it's, mm. You've got some stuff going on out there. I've been around a bit. Been around a bit? Yeah. yeah been around the block a bit. Yeah. How, how long have you been a voice actor? Uh, in, in terms of voice actor in Toto, 40 years. 40 years. Yeah. Uh, in terms of, I, I, I think Goldie Roger was the very first uh, anime that I did in 2012. Oh, my goodness. So it, that, that show began my journey. Yeah. Right on. Uh, what were you doing before that? I mean, 40 years, 2012 was only about, you know, a little over a decade ago, but uh, well, what so were you I, doing? I started my career, uh, as so many voice actors did, um, back in the late 70s, early 80s, on the stage, live okay. theater. And uh, I did that for uh, probably uh, about 15 years. And then I started doing film and television. And, you know, voice work was always mm -hmm. sprinkled in there. Cool. All the time, yeah. Hey, but, hey, can you come say this really quick kind say, of thing? Say what? Can you come say this really quick or just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, because voiceover includes, uh, you know, not just voicing characters for, for anime or cartoons or things like that, but, you know, uh, all those commercials that mm -hmm. you see on television that you hear on the radio, you know, those are all guys like me that they hire to read a script and... Uh, Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Do you have anything that stands out? Like, what's the most obscure thing that you had to hawk? Oh, my goodness. The, uh, uh, some uh, crystal glassware from, I want to say, Finland or something. It was called, no. Well, I'm not sure where I was from. It was way long ago called Cheska. Cheska. It sticks with me. Cheska glassware. <laughs> I sold it, man. <laughs> well, right I didn't on. sell it. I just talked about it. Yeah. And then eventually this all just kind of uh, folded into a career doing anime. And yeah. I mean, um, the folks over there at uh, Funimation, Funimation slash now, um, you know, they liked what I did and they keep asking me back. <laughs> Can't you argue know? with that, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's the way it works. Actors, you know, we... We, we go where the work takes us. So you, uh, do you live in Texas? I do. You do, okay. This is where Funimation is located. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have lived around, uh, lived out here in California for a while while I was doing film and television. Some, uh, you know, personal things took me back to Texas and we just decided to stay there. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said, lucked into it. You know, somebody there at Funimation heard my name, and they said, hey, would you like to come do this? And, I, and it began from there. Yeah. What interests you in uh, voice acting as um, Goldie Roger? Like, interests what? you, like, like, what made you thought about, like, how come, like, Goldie Roger was, like, your first option? Was there, like, any other options, or were you interested in voice acting as that character? Well, no, they, like, like I said, you know, in this business, they, you know, oftentimes, you know, uh, and, and this was in 2012, so I've been acting, um, you know, a long, long time. And uh, the director of, uh, that was doing the dub of, of One Piece over at Funimation, uh, you know, called up my agent and said, hey, uh, we'd like him to come in and do this, you know. So, you know, in terms of my interest in it, I didn't know about it, you know what I mean? And, and, and to be perfectly honest, uh, up until very recently, I just came in and did the voice when they asked me to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Thank you. So. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for the question. Appreciate um, it. Is there, is there anything, any projects out there? I mean, I'm, I don't want to get into the, the future based on Zach Afrin or anything, but is there any projects out there that you wish you could have been on in the past? or? Uh, I mean, you know, we, we, we all... Uh, as as actors, we you know we look at something and go, oh man, I think I would have been better at that than the person that they hired. We all kind of do that, but uh, but no, I, I it, that that's kind of a uh, uh, that, that's a that's a strange 
a deep well to go down. Okay, fair enough. You know enough. what I'm saying? Yeah, it, yeah. Start thinking about what could have been. What could have been, you know? yeah, yeah, I can understand yeah, that. Yeah, so it's it's really about just what the next project is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, if that makes sense. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's to say, hey, I'm working. Yeah, and I'm working. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what we do as actors. We work just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We tend to, uh, we tend, you know, because people come and watch our stories and hear our voices, and when we're on film, we, you know, they... They tend to think that that we might have a greater connection to what you're watching than what we actually do as actors. We pretty much just go from job to job to job. Yeah. Is there any role that you prefer playing over any other, like an archetype or a? Well, in terms of anime, you know, I, I, I who could have wished for a better role than Goldie Roger? You know, I mean, he's kind of iconic and fun. You know. Um, so yeah, no, he, he, he probably, he's the one that, I mean, uh, Ben Beckman, I also voice in, in, uh, One Piece and, and he's fun as well. You know, I, I've, I've been lucky. I, I, I get to do all the character roles, you know? And so, uh, I, I go in and I have fun with the anime. That's, that's, uh, that's the reason I do it is because it's a load of fun. And, uh, and the stories are so good. You know, you can tell stories with anime that you can't tell in, in other medium. And uh, so that's what attracts me to it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And, and one, I mean, One Piece is, is a very long running program. A thousand plus episodes, they yeah. tell me. That's, we're, that's what we're, I'm, we're yeah. only, we're less than halfway through the English dub of it. Okay. Yeah. And how, how many episodes have you done thus far? Do you oh, know? goodness. M me personally, I haven't done that many because Goldie Roger is not in that many. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, he, he starts off the show. That's why he's kind of known, you know what I mean? And uh, uh, they, they did, you know, he, he had his original arc and then, you know, they went back uh, in, you know, they do these, these specialized arcs now, uh, story arcs. And, you know, they, they went back and fleshed him out a little bit, you know, because he, he, he got knocked off pretty quick <laughs> in the original arc, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, yeah. Is that a disappointing thing to, like, hey, I'm a great character, this is fun to do, and I'm gone? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, I, I, with this particular one, you know, again, nobody... at in America knew that One Piece was going to explode the way it was. It did, has, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Would have, I, it wasn't much that I thought about. It was like, that was fun, that was a good job, I enjoyed doing it, you know, and then this happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's all because of the fans, you know, it's you guys. It's not me, it's you guys. I mean, it's, apparently it's doing well enough that Netflix decided to make a live action. Version, absolutely. So. It's all, everything is all about the cross media now. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, absolutely. I got the pleasure to meet you yeah. earlier. Um, so I grew up with One Piece, basically. Mm -hmm. So is there anything that you grew up with, uh, anything that it helped you inspired um, to find this voice for Cold Roger or... Uh, specifically to help me find this voice for, for Goldie Roger, no. Um, I started doing weird voices when I was probably about five years old. And, you know, my parents were always like, what are you doing? You know, so it's something that I've done. Um, yeah, I guess I liked um, uh, acting from about, about, I think I did my first play when I was in eighth grade or something like that. That would have been in like 19... 70 or no, 72 or something like that, you know, so, so, but in terms of, of, of Goldie Roger, again, you know, they called me and asked me to do it, so, yeah. Yourself going into character, like when you go through like a drive through for example. Go, <laughs> doing the character? Doing the character. Oh, yeah, I'll do it occasionally, sure, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely, yeah. Just at the supermarket and just bust it out. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does that catch anybody like off guard? Like when you're like, like I don't think so. I don't think I've ever had anybody go, you know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I would have. I, I I try not to be that, you know, uh, loud. <laughs> no, I'm constantly doing weird voices. Yeah. Okay. Once you, once you're a voice actor, it's just part of your mental illness. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a profession, it's That's a mental right. illness. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.
Is there any worlds you wished you could visit yourself, like as you are now? Not necessarily oh, as you could Oh, redo the role? Not just to redo the role, but if you wanted to visit like their world that you would want to live in. Oh, live in, live in that world. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, the world of One Piece would be fantastic. I'd love to be Gold D. Roger. Are you kidding me? That, that, that would be <laughs> the most exciting adventure in the world. I know, because yeah. your, your character is the reason that the One Piece even yeah, exactly, exists in the exactly. first place. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> you nailed it on that one. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I've gotten uh, to do live action um, westerns you know mm -hmm. and uh i'm not sure that i actually would want to go back to that time it's a dirty dirty time <laughs> it's a dirty time yeah. you know what i mean it, most people didn't live very long no you take know? like a bath once yeah, a month exactly so if you don't fall into the river yeah but it was certainly fun to do you know what mm. i mean and i am a horseman so so the the uh the the uh you know couple three you know westerns that i did i got to ride horses on film and so you know that's always fun yeah what was that like riding a horse i've never ridden a horse so it's hard it's it's hard. dangerous it'll it, it's it's a lot harder than people think it is yeah they're big animals <laughs> but but once you learn how to do it it is it's horses are extremely uh wonderful creatures uh, they're just hard to read you know what i mean but they are big and strong. Yeah, so, oh. yeah. yeah. Yeah, my only reference for a horse is Red Dead. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Red, Red Dead, Dead Redemption. Oh, Red Dead. <laughs> That's my only you know, reference. You know, there's a, there's a, um, there's a little uh, part of the map mm -hmm. in Red Dead Redemption that is called Hennigan's Homestead. And, and it's not named after me. They just, whoever came up with that, that uh, pulled the name out of the air. Yeah, yeah. My son opened up and said, Dad, look. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Oh, I did have one follow-up question sure. then, mm -hmm. since it was one piece that you would want to live in. Mm -hmm. Would you want to be a Marine, a pirate, or a bounty hunter, if you could pick any of the three? And if it wasn't Gold D. Roger. If it wasn't Gold D. Roger. Yeah, if you wanted to pick one of those three. Probably a Marine. Yeah, a Marine. Yeah, I think so. But I don't know. I, I, I hadn't thought of that. So I'll, I'll, I'll have to mold that one over. Yeah, but probably. Yeah. What devil fruit would you want? <laughs> Everybody asks that. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that one is so hard to... Whatever the best one is. <laughs> Make it what you will. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I they don't probably know. have a voice acting fruit. A voice actor fruit. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I, it. It gives me the ability to do any voice, anytime. How's that? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's even like the copy copy fruit where you can change your face. There you go. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. What's your funniest role that you have played as a voice actor? I, 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 I don't usually get cast in those type of roles. I usually get cast as, you know, you can hear that my voice is kind of mm -hmm. deep and, you know, I can make it gravelly when I want to and things like that. So, so I, don't, I don't get cast in a lot of funny roles, so I'm having a hard time thinking about that one. I don't know. If I look back on all the anime roles, I'm not sure that I was ever in a funny one. Mm. <laughs> But if there was a role that you would want to take for a funny character, which, which character would you take? I, I don't know. Mm. I, I, I have to be honest with you. I don't, I don't know which one that would be. I, I would take the funniest role that they will give me. Okay. <laughs> I want another question. Okay. Sure. So, what's your most serious role? Say it if again? you could rank from... From the least serious to the most serious role that you've played as a voice actor. What's your most serious role? Yoshimura in Tokyo Ghoul. That was pretty serious. Mm -hmm. um, a good character. Um, goodness. Yeah. Again, that's a that's a that's a hard one to answer. Mm -hmm. You know, I played. You know, I, I I played a lot of guys. I've played a few bad guys. I've played. You know, a few very serious. Um, you know. Now that you think about it, I am, I, one just uh, dropped recently, it's called um, Vinland Saga, mm -hmm. and I play a character called Potter in that, in the second season, and he, he, he's, he's pretty serious in that, that's a, that's a good serious role, so yeah. If you could play any role, what role would you want to play? Any role that already exists? 
any role that already exists, any role that doesn't exist, you can just think of one. Have fun. That's a that's an odd question for 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 an actor because, you know, our the the best thing for us is when we create something brand new, and you know the the one of the odd things about doing the dub of of anime is that we didn't actually create the original characters, right? You know. <laughs> It was created in, in first in, in usually in the manga or you know uh, other form book form and then it goes to you know uh, anime and then it's in the Japanese or Korean and then it comes to us you know so we're we we try to do a story that's already been done so um, you know uh, thinking about a role that I would like to do that role hasn't been created yet. Does that make sense? Makes perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, one more thing. Mm-hmm. Um, me and a few folks just have a question. Uh, do you think the One Piece is real? Of course it is. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> but that's my own opinion. I may be wrong. <laughs> Any particular roles that pose like a challenge for you to like adapt to or to perform? Whenever I get asked to do a role that, that has an accent that is not American, mm. you know, I, I, I like to do them well. So, so those are often a little bit harder because I like, you have to study a little bit more to get it right. Of course. You know what I mean? Um, I've done a lot of them, so any particular one was harder than the other one. I don't, I don't think I have one of those. Um, and again, the, the, the odd thing about, about dubbing is that you know, uh, and especially with, with character actors like me, you know what I mean? I, I suppose when, you're, when you have been cast as the lead in a brand new show that has never been done before, then you get to create it from the get-go. I'm, we're not really doing that with the English dub, you know what I'm saying? So, right. So oftentimes it's really about... Um, uh, finding a balance between what the, what the original story was, what the uh, Japanese interpreters have given, and then what, what the directors of the English dub are asking me to do. And I try to do the best work that I've been asked to do. Um, were there any roles that were kind of easy to fall into? Uh, oddly enough, uh, Goldie Roger just <laughs> popped out of my head. I saw, the, I saw the picture and I, kn I knew what he sounded like. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. Well, thank you for asking my question. Thank you. Now, obviously, the directors have an idea of what the voices are going to be. Um, do, they, do they give you the Japanese voices? Do Absolutely, you, yes. Like, this is what he sounds like in Japanese. We reference the Japanese every single, every single line that we do. So if, he's, if he's out there going, yo, me, 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 she, yeah, you have yeah. to step up and go. Yeah, because, because even though I don't speak Japanese, you know, language is language. Mm -hmm. And so it, the intent comes through. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Have you uh, heard other languages dubs? Like, let's say, uh, I don't know, Korean, uh, Ukrainian, something like that. And what was the best voice expression that you had? Like, you can say, wow, that guy is just... Make well, the, the, the original voice recording actor is always just seemingly the best. Uh, I mean, yeah. except original. Oh, except, except yeah. uh, um, I'm not sure that I've heard anything. I heard some French one time, and I speak a wee bit of French, and it, it, it wasn't great. <laughs> because, because it was hard to translate into. French is not a great language for anime. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. I never even thought about that. Yeah, I think that's the only one I've ever heard other than the, the original. Yeah. Je parle un peu français, ah, mais oui, monsieur. Quand c'est comme ça? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems like it wouldn't, wouldn't translate well to, to harsh, aggressive language. Exactly. It's a very flowing language. Flowing. But then you get to, like, maybe Ukrainian or Russian, which yeah. is very guttural and nasal. I think that would... Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm going to have to go check it out and, yeah. and see what those sound like. Because, yeah, they would, they, they, you know, English, English is a tough one as well. It is. You know, for, for the translation. Um, it's, a, it's a delicate balance because, you know, uh, just, you know, I, ideally slash culturally, some things just don't translate no. directly. You know, so, yeah. Especially when it comes to slang terms. Yeah. That gets really hard. Yep.
Yep. No. What would you think the um, you and Goldie Rogers react uh, interaction would be like? Like, what would Goldie Rogers like reaction if he would like probably recognize your voice and like something like that? Do you mean the the uh, if, if if Goldie Roger the character in One Piece met me? Mm -hmm. Oh, he kind of probably look at me and go, you need to grow some muscles, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually, I think I would get along with, with him quite well. I, it, you might can tell from my name, but I'm of Irish heritage. So, you know, uh, the, a lot of Irish guys ended up as pirates. So, you know, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, no, I think we'd be pals, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Cool. I'd love to sail on the ship with him. Um, do you have like a um, favorite One Piece character besides like if it's Goldie Roger or do you like do you have a different character that is your favorite in One Piece? In 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 One Piece, a favorite character, I I guess I guess uh, I, I it's a weird thing thinking about favorites. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, because I like them all, and yeah. because they all have their unique story, their unique path, and you know. Uh, yeah. But but I guess uh, that's a hard one. Maybe Shanks, um, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not Luffy, of course. You know, what I mean, without Luffy, you know. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. Thank you for the answering. Welcome. I mean, even even just as a voice actor, I mean, how does it? How does how does it feel to be kind of in something that seems to be so loved and influential? I I, uh, I it's it's hard to express the kind of um, uh, uh, wonderment that I have. I mean, I'm not surprised to be perfectly honest that One Piece has done what it's done because I think it's very um, uh, it, it's very uh, not necessarily topical, but it resonates with uh, a lot of people right now, especially a lot of people of a particular age that watch a lot of anime, right? And uh, but but the the response is as it's been it's been a, a joy to 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 see and be a part of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's who to thunk it. You know what I mean? Have, have any of your other projects like kind of reached that level or? Not even close, yeah. Oh. Hopefully they do, but no, nothing has, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Out of all the shows that you've voice acted in, what's your favorite soundtrack? I don't know, I don't know. I mean, the, you know, the, the, that's the other thing about, about this medium is that they can do things with the soundtracks that, that are just so fantastic, you know. Um, uh, no, I don't have a favorite, no. What's your favorite? Yeah. Um, I don't know you. <laughs> See, it's, it's, really it's hard, hard isn't it? Oh. Yeah. But, like, in general anime, I'd say my favorite soundtrack is probably Violet Evergarden. Mm. So, cool. it's really pretty. Cool. And then, since you couldn't, like, you don't know that one, what about an instrument? What's your favorite instrument? There's an, an old instrument called a hurdy-gurdy. Do you know what that is? And I, I think, think that's do. probably my, <laughs> one of my favorite instruments. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Is there any line that you can think of? Not necessarily a favorite line. I know because there's just so many. Is there, is there anything that has stood out in your career as something that you've had to say, whether it be anime, cartoons, live action, theater, that you're like, wow, I, I have to say that? Is there anything that stands out in that category? I don't think so. No. Uh, it, 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 do you mean in terms of, oh, I never expected to say that? Yeah. Mm -mm, no. It's, uh, you know, they're, they're, it, we have a, a saying in the acting world, and that is that there's really nothing new under the sun, you know, and because it's either been said exactly the same before or so similarly that, you know, we have something to draw for. And every time you're given something that, uh, that uh, you know, may end up being profound, you don't know it's going to be profound when you do it. You don't, you know, because that's, that, that happens after. That happens yeah. with these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Without the audience, it's, it's just all into thin air. 
you know. Yeah. You guys are the ones that make this all happen. You know, we, we bring it to you in terms of the artist, but, but if you didn't watch it, we wouldn't do it. It wouldn't be there to be done. So, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you all for having yeah. me here. Thank you very much. Again, this is, my, this is my very first con, and it has been a joy, so thank you all.